special me has already proven to be the broodmare of a lifetime for Carrie and Craig Brogdon, but at the age of 18, she still has plenty more in the pipeline. This year, she has a yearling by Twirling Candy, a filly pointing to the Keeneland September sale, and another filly at her side from the first crop of Flightline. It's kind of amazing that she was actually named Special Me and she became so special. I mean, I, she's paid for everything. Basically, they paid for us to have a house in Lexington and for our kids' school and my daughter's college and my son's college. And I mean, you know, she's the giving tree. Well, special Me is the dam of two grade one winners and two grade two winners. Grade one winner, Gift Box, who is a stallion that stands at Lane's End. And then she's also the dam of current grade one winner, Gina Romanica, who just ran third in another grade one at Saratoga. And then she's the dam of a candy ride, grade two winner. And then she's the dam of Stone uh, Tastic, who is also a grade two winner by Miz and Mass. We had Gina Romanica. And then she had a Curlin filly that unfortunately was killed in a freak paddock accident. And then she's never, she's never been barren. She aborted a Quality Road baby. That's the only year she's ever missed. Pullmore bought her now two-year-old for 1.2 million and he was a full brother, Gina Romanica. And we did that mating before Gina became a grade one winner. And then we bred her back to Twirling Candy, obviously to repeat the gift box breeding. She definitely has some traits of twirling candy, and she definitely has some traits of unbridled song. So she is cataloged in book one, Keeneland September. Big, strong, Philly, correct. Mare always throws correct. Never had a crooked horse. No matter who we bred her to, she's never had a crooked horse. Then we went to flight line and have the result in Philly here. And then uh, we brought her back to Into Mischief and she's pregnant back to Into Mischief now, carrying a full sibling to Gina. When the flight line Philly, we, were, we knew she, it was coming. And of course I told Craig, I said, do not tell me when that mare is getting ready full because I will be puking until it's born. So all we got in the middle of the night at like 2.30 in the morning was like, it's a Philly. And I mean, from this kind of mare, what else can you ask for? The flight line Philly, if I had imagined the best case scenario of what we put, could have possibly gotten from this mare, it would be what this filly is times two. Right now, she's really saucy. I don't know if she's saucy because the guys are like afraid of her because she's like worth so much money, but that both of them are gonna be really hard to sell because at some point we know it'll be retirement for her. But it's, it's hard to put into words something that you just can't believe you actually have. I think she must give something to her foals, like some tenaciousness or toughness or there's, I mean, a reason that they're so, they've been so sound and successful, I would assume. I can't predict the genetics, but obviously there's something special going on. She's a heart though. Gosh, she has a heart the size of Texas.